In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open the Apple's proprietary HEIC X file extension if you're on a Linux system. And if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video where you can follow the instructions to do this on your system. Now, uh, this past weekend, my aunt passed away, and my mom, my brother, and my two sisters we went in together and bought a flower and since I couldn't go to the funeral or the funeral home my sister took some pictures and she emailed them to me and I was unable to see them initially because they contained the extension HEIC and then I looked it up and I realized it was one of the Apple's proprietary which uh, format which is high efficiency imaging file format and I know it doesn't end in an F but it ends in a C which is the acronym for high efficiency images a container but there's no fret. Uh, you can basically install three little uh, files and it will fix the, your problem on your system. Actually, you can install one and it will fix it to where you can open it with your default image editor. At least I hope it will. It did in my case. But in this case, when I double clicked it initially, I used the eye of Mate. It said could not load the image and it had the name of the image with this extension. And it says unrecognized image file format. So after a little research, I realized that if you install this file, it's the decoder that installs on your system that will open with your default image viewer. And then if you install this, this allows you to view the thumbnails within your file manager, such in my case I have the Kaha file manager. It will work with others as well. Then if you use this, this will allow you to convert those images to other formats. Now that's not the scope of this video here. I'm just going to show you how you can view the images and view the thumbnails, but I will show you how you can install each of those. So I broke them down into three separate sections. I know I could put a space and put the other files and do it all at one time, but if you only want to see it, you can copy the first line. If you would like the thumbnails to view within your file manager, you can copy this line. Or if you'd like to be able to convert, you can copy this line or you can install all three. Then I have the ways of removing them. Now before I go and install them on my system, I've uninstalled them. If you look here, I put them in a folder. This is the image that my sister sent me. These three images are images that I just found off the internet. So they're not anything that's personal to me. Uh, but this one was the picture of the flower that we went and so the initially you're not going to see a thumbnail this was on my laptop you know I have the same name but this is my laptop with a different theme of course so you see this image instead of a thumbnail this is on my desktop here and I've uninstalled them and I'm going to go back and reinstall them but after you install the thumbnail viewer when you open your Kaha file manager you'll see an actual thumbnail of the image rather than just a little representation of an image and then you double click it and you can open it now within the image viewer in my case the eye of mate I can go to uh, image save as or in this case you might have file in your viewer you can go save as and save it as a different format such as JPEG PNG or other type formats now if you don't like installing those you can install GIMP or the XN view MP and those should by default be a lot able to give you the ability to open up those extensions and then you can export them into other extensions so let me go back up to the top and I want to first go here to show you here's the file so if I double click it it's just going to tell me that it can't open that file so let me go and open up my terminal and then I'm going to pull my terminal to the side I'm going to go one line after the other I'm going to take put this string of commands in first paste it in here press the enter return key put my password then press the enter return key and it's going on into installing that file all right, it's finished. Now I'm still not going to have the thumbnail view, but if I double click on the file now, it gives me the ability to open it. And I am using my uh, Eye of Mate. So that installed and that works good. So now let's go and hit my thumbnailer. Now the thumbnailer, since I do have my Kaha open, I may have to close it and reopen it to get the thumbnail view. But let me go here, paste this into the line in a return key I don't have to enter my password since I've previously entered it and I haven't timed out and then while I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and hit the third line this gives me the ability to convert it to another format I'm gonna put this on my system as well
and now it's done let me open up this folder here refresh and as you can see it automatically did it when I I didn't have to close the Kaha file, not, yeah, the Kaha file manager and reopen it now you see a thumbnail of each of the HEIC extensions so if I double click onto it as you can see there's the extension and I'm still in my eye of mate which is my default viewer and I can go next next and next and this is the one like I said that my sister took and these are the others just those images that I found randomly on the internet so as you can see here if you're having trouble now notice it works with the capital H E I C and the lowercase H E I C it just recognizes that format because with Linux Kate you know it's normally case sensitive but since we installed it in there that gives you the ability to view both the lowercase and the uppercase and I'm assuming if it's Mitch case by that being capital and the rest of them being lowercase so if you're having trouble opening up images that someone took with an Apple iPhone or any of the Apple devices and they send it to you now you know how to install it on your system so that you actually have the ability to view it within your uh, Linux system now I know I used sudo app get if you're using something like Fedora you can just replace that with however you install but still put the, those names that you see here hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day